Hi everybody! If you've seen my past video, you know I've been able to get my hands on a new rig. Specifically a pretty amazing desktop replacement from Clevo, having a 75Hz IPS screen supporting G-Sync. Check all the other tests in the review that you can find in the cards or via the link in the description. Anyway, what was a bummer to me was that the PC shipped with a 60Hz refresh rate only. And even if I tried to customize the resolution rate via NVIDIA control panel, the G-Sync, upon game loading, was stuck at max 60Hz. This is happening because G-Sync only uses native LCD resolution, irrelevant of what you have put in the customized resolution. The only workaround to that was to ask in a forum that was Tech Inferno and find someone kind enough to give me the link to an awesome freeware utility called CRU Custom Resolution Utility. It works for any NVIDIA or AMD video card, probably even broader, and allows to add fake entries in the device driver, changing directly a lot of things, among them being the native resolution rates the driver believes your screen is capable of. This is the thread where you can simply click the download the app. No setup is required, just unzip in a folder. There are the utility itself and some minor commands to install those changes in your driver. And if shoot happens, to reset everything to default, even from safe mode boot of Windows. Here is how it works. You open the app, you select your monitor if you have more in the picker above and you'll find only one native maximum resolution for your screen. In my case, it was the first row, the Full HD at 60Hz. You double click on it, just to press the copy button, then you can cancel any editing to this. Then you click the add button to insert a new native resolution. Now it's time to press paste button, so that any minor attributes get copied from the original template. You only then need to change the refresh rate. I changed from 60 to 75 and then click OK. Now your native resolutions are two and you can click OK. CRU calls detailed resolutions. Then if you have a 32-bit operating system, you click the reset command. Else you click the reset 64 for 64-bit windows. It will load and inject the modify entry in your graphic driver. No need to restart. Now you can go in your NVIDIA control panel and finally choose the other refresh rate for your native resolution. 65 Hz is now served as an entry. Click apply. You'll have the canonical 15 seconds of trial, but I'm sure you should be ok. Done. As soon as you have G-Sync enabled, your games now will be able to be pushed till the new maximum refresh rate of your monitor. Being it 75 or even 120 or more, it depends on your panel, do your research. This is NVIDIA experience, where you can see Shadowplay keeps activated. Of course, it will encode what I see in a stock 60p frame rate for the MP4 video. Thus, it might happen that minor tear-off can occur in a movie, but this does not change that real-time playing will happen at 75 Hz nonetheless. NVIDIA Experience keeps maximizing every setting for TF2. Now, a brief show of this new 75 Earth G-Sync success. See? 75 FPS. As you may know, G-Sync dynamically lowers the LCD refresh rate to be continuously linked to the performance of your NVIDIA card. If your game can sustain 75 Earth, you'll have it all the time. Should it drop, the refresh rate will lower accordingly. That's awesome! You can never see more frames than the actual refresh rate of your screen anyway. Having 200 FPS is nonsense if your screen is stuck at 60. The way the old vertical sync worked though introduced a lot of lag, because it was the graphic card to chase the locked refresh rate of the screen. With just sync it is quite the opposite, the card unleashes its maximum potential and the screen rate follows that up to its maximum. With CRU we could raise this maximum to the max allowed by my screen, that seems to be 75 Hz. Someone could push it even more, but I'm staying this way for the moment. It clearly is better than stock 60 frames per second the device was shipped with. To 
you have a G-Sync enabled screen? Are you really using the maximum of your refresh rate potential? In the video description you'll find a link where to download CRU. I'm not taking any responsibility if you screw up something with that, though. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.